Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and this is Meatloaf for a Month. Okay, so here I have three packages. Now I say packages because I think these are more than a pound. They're certainly not the size of the one pound tubes I get. So I'm going to say this is four pounds of lean ground beef. Here I have four cups of breadcrumbs. Now those breadcrumbs are from just stale bread or bread ends or old unused hot dog buns or whatever that I just threw in the freezer and I threw them in the blender. I'm going to put my onions in next because they got to go back in the freezer. I'm going to say a cup and a half of onions. Now I'm going to be doing these in my mini loaf pans. Now this may actually be uh, enough meatloaf for us for two months, depending on how many I get. Now I got to be honest with you folks, I could have doubled the breadcrumbs and added two more eggs and more onion and, and I still would have gotten a superior meatloaf. This was really good beef. Very lean. Now to this, we're going to add just a little bit of steak spice. You know what I mean? I'm going to say, oh, I don't know, a tablespoon of steak spice. And about a tablespoon of garlic powder. More if you're like me. And about a tablespoon of onion powder. And a three finger pinch of salt. Now, I am going to be using um, the last of my egg powder, which is about three eggs. I would want to put four eggs in here, so I'm going to add one fresh egg. But I would use four large eggs in this recipe. Now, because I'm using three powdered eggs, I'm going to be putting more liquid in than normal, which is my homemade ketchup, which I'm just, I'm going to have to re wash and refill this jar. And we're just going to set him to stir. Okay, I have a pan for supper if I need it. And here is four mini meatloafs. Now I am going to spray these pans. And remember, if you're using this from Costco, shake it really well or you will not, will not get spray. Now I'm going to take out enough meatloaf for tonight's supper and hopefully enough left over for Howie to have in sandwiches tomorrow. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's a thin one, but I want it to cook in the same amount of time as these ones, so I have to make it rather thin. All right. And now we're going to fill up these pans. And if these get too full, I will use the rest on tonight's supper. So this is technically more than a month because we'd only eat this once a week, right? And this way, you know, these can go in the freezer. And then I will show you another day how I do a meatloaf in the crock pot because it'll be a pantry pull meal, won't it?
And there we go, 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Okay, our timer has gone off. And here are our meatloafs. Now I'm gonna leave the big meatloaf in there a little bit longer because that's tonight's supper. I don't wanna overcook these. As you can see, there's some juice coming out here. I don't wanna overcook these because they're gonna spend half a day in a crock pot, right? So when these cool down, I'm going to vacuum seal them and freeze them for pantry pull meals. And I'll show you what we're having for supper. There is your meatloaf dinner. Notice I've used less potatoes than usual because we More have... More beans and beets. Yeah, well, that's just what we got to do. Potatoes aren't as good for you as we have hoped. They're supposed to be a side dish, not, a, you know, not the meal. It's meatloaf. Oh, by the way, that's what you're supposed to be tasting is the meatloaf. Awesome. You want that in your lunch tomorrow on sandwiches? Sounds good. All right, and I have four more for the freezer. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying that's one, two, three, four, five, six meals six meals out of three and a half. Now I use three packages of the ground beef and they say they're a pound a pack, but I'm gonna say three and a half, four pounds. Each one of these meals or tonight's supper is no more than $3.50. And there they are coming to a pantry pull video soon. That's making it stretch and that quarter. Take care, God bless. And remember folks, if you're not using four jars canning lids, you're missing out. Heavier than any other single-use lids on the market, they are a U.S. company, and these lids are of superior quality. The only lids I will use. Check the description box below this video for the link, and use the coupon code HALFACRE for 10% off. Orders over $50 ship free within the USA. Check them out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. They make the perfect gift for the home canner in your life. Four jars lids. You can't go wrong.